adult male, shot in the upper body, and also stable. Uh, right now, uh, investigators don't know a motive for the shooting, um, but it does appear targeted. Um, and no uh, suspect description other than five black males wearing all black seen leaving uh, after the shooting. And at, the, at this time, that's really all we have. Um, I'll keep you guys updated in terms of uh, the um, injuries and the uh, status of the victims and also any other uh, suspect information that I might gather uh, in the briefing that we're going to do here very shortly. So just to recap, two adult males, a female and a four-year-old boy? Correct. So an adult female in critical condition, an adult male in critical condition, uh, the four-year-old boy who is uh, stable, and then another adult male who is also stable. Do we know the relationship between the child and the adult males that are in critical condition? We do not. Do we know any of the relationships of any of the victims or the people who were shot, rather? No, other than uh, it does not appear at this time that it was a random act. It does appear that this was a targeted uh, act of violence. What time did this happen? Uh, the original call came in at 9.40 p.m., I believe. 10.40? 9.40? You say targeted act of violence, but that is only specific towards maybe one part of the incident, not um, everybody involved being targeted. That's correct. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Right. The, the location that these folks were all at together was tar appeared to be targeted. Can you repeat the suspect's uh, information? Uh, all I know at this time is five black male adults uh, in, wearing all black clothing uh, were seen leaving the area after the shooting. What do we need know? from the public? What can we do to help? Uh, you know, right now I think just asking for a little bit of patience. Uh, as you can see, this is really, uh, you know, rapidly evolving. When we have this many victims, it's a lot, it's a lot more complicated in terms of an investigation. Um, so information is going to be coming in, um, you know, by the minute. Um, so again, some patience while we kind of gather stuff. Um, obviously, we want to put out very accurate stuff, information. So um, I don't want to, um, I want to take the time to be able to gather the information so that everything's accurate. No, other than that it appears that it was targeted, I don't have any other information about a motive. I know the circumstances are sometimes uh, tough to divide the particulars, you can tell us right now, but um, uh, there was a location that in which bullets were intended to head towards and these people were there. Um, do we know if there is an exchange of gunfire? Uh, as in maybe victims at one location and another, or uh, victims injured by different types of guns or more than one gun or anything to that extent? Gotcha. Um, I don't have any information right now that there was an exchange of gunfire. Um, it does appear that the victims were um, all in one location together. And it happened outside, right? Uh, I do not know that. Oh. So again, we're going to be briefing here in a second, um, and, and I'll, I'll certainly come back here and have more info for you guys. Thank you. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, I have one more question. I know on the side of the building, there is one name for the condo, and then out front is another. So the apartments, are they just this area? Yeah. yeah. Thank you. Yeah, oh, for, just for you know, is it Sergeant? Yes. Okay, and it's Tess, T-E-S? T-E-S-S. -S. And then last name sold for me? D-E-T-E-R-D-I-N-G. And proper pronunciation for that? Detterding. Detterding, gotcha. All right. Thanks, we'll all grab our mics. Yeah, absolutely.